Hey there, Cedric here. Want to uh, work on some grip, grip exercises today. And these grip exercises can be done utilizing some equipment that I make. Uh, these are going to be hammer style workouts. And we're going to do grip workout that is also going to strengthen the wrist, okay? Because the wrist shouldn't get left behind. We need to keep that wrist strong in all directions. All right, for that good strong punch and for life, for lifting, you know. Your hands can be really strong, but if your wrists aren't up up to par, then, you know, we want everything to be strong. So, we got some, some simple stuff. You know, we've got the, the battle maces, which have your one and a half, two inch uh, steel ball in the end. So you've got that, that good deal of weight. These weigh about two pounds each with most of that weight in the end. So you can do your repetition exercises depending on your level of fitness, you know. And of course, you only need one. You do ten or whatever, whatever number, and then switch hands and do ten. But I like to, to keep that other hand moving as well, you know, rather than just having it just, just staying there static, unmoving. So, you've got a lot of grip workouts, alright, that you can do that are going to benefit your grip and your wrist. Now, when you're holding this, don't let it be a, a loose, sloppy, lazy grip, alright? Take hold of that sucker and really, really clamp down because you're getting an isometric hand workout when you're doing that. The harder you grip, the more muscles are being used in your hand. So, you're getting that that strength and it's a mindfulness of your grip as well alright so we've got our hammer style workouts alright and work your angles whatever you're gonna do alright I love I love I love these okay these are those Indian club or, or bell club workouts and this is old school gonna build that punch you run it out and then stop it and bring it back all with the strength of that wrist again we're keeping a strong strong grip all right so then that's something that you can do your repetitions with then you've got a, a heavier piece of gear of course like the violator thug and you've got a counterbalance back here this has your three and a quarter inch steel ball and a two and a half inch steel ball or two inch steel ball down here so if you come back here of course you've got a, a two and a half pound weight down at this end and it's not counterbalanced much so we're doing this and this is taking it up where it's going to be less repetitions than the other but it's still what I would consider maybe medium repetitions all right so if we go ahead and switch around to over here all right now or even less, less repetitions, and again, maintain that grip, okay? Maintain the grip. So we do these exercises, okay? We've got this, we're working that grip. Now, we wanna work on our pinch grip, okay? This weighs about eight pounds. So you're holding this, you've got a, uh, let me just grab my ruler here. three and a half inch diameter so this is this is going to spread your hand all right this is going to be pretty good grip with eight pounds and this is going to build you up to the beast up here all right which is whew, almost four and a half it's four and three eighths inch diameter so now you're really really holding some weight and here we can do cool stuff, okay? Where you're gonna gonna maybe transfer grip, you know, things like that. And then you'll you'll switch to where this hand would hold the larger one and transfer your grip. You can really get that grip going, man. And then on top of that is just moving it, okay? Um, I really recommend looking up some of the uh, the bell club exercises or Indian club exercises they've got some really neat sets where um, 
I cannot do swings in here. I can't do stuff in here. I'm inside and I'm not allowed to bust any more light fixtures. But if you want to work your grip, something like this gives you a lot of different uh, different options, you know? And if it gets to the point where you're able to just hold this way too long, way too easy, you can put a piece of cord around the bottom and tie another weight. Tie some extra weight. Come back up here and start the whole thing over with the extra weight. And when you can do this, switch it around and boom. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. You start getting uh, getting stronger and stronger, you know. And what else we got? Oh, by the way, I'm going to be shutting down my website store before long, so uh, I'm not sure how I'll be selling or if I'll even continue selling. But here you've got something like this, and you know, again, I can't really mess around inside. But you can do a lot of stuff that's going to strengthen your hand. You can flip these, you know, go hand to hand. A lot of different stuff. This is weighted at each end. And it has some flex, some give. So, anything you got, alright? But hold it with intent. Hold it with intent. That's the way to go. Then maybe you want to step up, you know, you got a larger grip something like this and this again this is two pound or so and, and the majority of the weights in the end there so with this you've got that that thicker grip that of course is going to give you a uh, a harder harder uh, harder time keeping a hold of it when you're, you're going through your motions whatever whatever those uh, bell club exercises you choose to do and I'll try to get an outdoor video where I'm doing a little more stuff you know and like that but I appreciate y'all coming by I wanted to do just some simple grip exercises and you can do these with uh, a broom you know and if you need extra weight on there then you know you can uh, tie a little bit of weight on the bristle and you know like that because the longer the uh, the longer the bar the longer the lever the, head, the more resistance that weight's going to give you out there, you know. So where where one pound doesn't feel like like much when you're up close, you get out and that one pound in now is giving you you more more resistance. So you're having to do more work. Oh yeah, and one of my my favorite exercises with with your hammer or what have you. Okay, we'll do this bad boy is just a simple exercise of tossing it back and forth all right this works your grip your wrist like crazy and it's a, a good exercise for your uh, hand-eye coordination you got this thicker grip like this and you do these kind of repetitions and you will find a deep and abiding burn in those forearms your wrists your hands but something with repetitions like this, you can conceivably do this every day with no ill effect because you get that fast muscle recovery from these kind of um, high repetition burnout exercises where you just, uh, you're just not really tearing the muscles down as much. So you don't build the, the same kind of strength, but you build a deep and abiding endurance that will serve you well in your strength training. This helps with that muscle recovery. So you've got exercises like that. Just all kinds of stuff that you can do. Um, that's pretty much it, y'all. I just wanted to bring you by and do a little bit of non-standard grip work, all right? So I appreciate you coming by. Look around you. The world is full of implements with which you can make yourself stronger. All right? so. Live free and punch hard. <laughs> Be good to yourself, all right? Because you're worth it and I dig you. I'll catch you later. Hold your head up high. Bye.